Will you explain a little bit about how you want him to tolerate it being on him, but also to be able to drive it with him, drive yeah, him with it? I, I want him to trust the flag, but also respect it at the same time. So I need to balance out how much rubbing and petting on him I do with it, and then also how much I drive him around with it as well, because I want him to understand that it's something that he also needs to move away from. And will you tell us once more about the, the rhythmic, the importance of that rhythmic pressure? Yeah, when I come in with this pressure, I start softly and I get a little firmer and a little bit firmer, but I want to make sure Changing the subject on these babies is really important as well. Not to get too caught up on one thing, but get a little bit of improvement and then move on. You can always come back to it either in this session or later on today or tomorrow. But you don't have to get it 100% perfect right now.
And you just want him to take really one step. As soon as he moves off that pressure, you release yeah. it. So there, when you shifted to the side for a minute to unlock his feet, yeah, just explain that. When we're leading him, like if I take a straight pull and say he doesn't follow it, like he can lock up pretty well right there. And I mean, it could just turn into a tug of war. So if I take this straight pull and he doesn't follow it, if I move off to the side, it pulls him off balance a little bit. So he's going to have to take that step. And then I can just build on that. But for how little they are, they're pretty strong. So, I mean, they can brace up on that straight pull pretty easily.
we finish up, I'm just gonna touch up this flag one more time. I'm always curious to see these foals' retention skills. I'm not gonna hold it against him if we go back to square one right here, but I'm just curious to see his reaction to it after taking a break for a few minutes and then coming back to it. Because he was pretty unsure about it at first. A lot better. up there and manually stop him and back him up. So you're controlling the feet and that was, was it in response to him being a little too forward? Many things like that as I can think to do with these babies, the better. Reinforcing that pressure and release mm -hmm. and getting them to yield. Yeah. yeah. That was really good. I think I'll put him right here because I really like how his mind is right now. Not going to let him walk away from me right there, but I'm just going to keep him here. I want to be the one to walk away from him. Licking and chewing right there. The old horseman said that means he's digesting thoughts. And I'll just step away. 